Hi everyone, it's Baldrick here and I'm really pumped up to release this video telling you about what I'm going to be doing with GTA 5 on the PC. But before I get into any of that sort of content, I'm going to be telling you about the gameplay you're watching. I apologize it's not in 60fps, I apologize it may look a bit grainy because it was re-downloaded from, from one of my older mod videos. And if you're wondering, I'm playing a zombie mod and I'm also running the IC Enhancer graphics mod, so it does look a bit better than it should. Anyway, uh, let's get onto uh, what I'm going to be covering on GTA 5. So, obviously, obviously GTA 5 on PC, I can run it ultra easily with my 780 Ti overclocked and my i5 3570K. So, you're going to be seeing maxed out graphics. I'll probably even be running it on 1440p and downscaling it to 1080p for even more anti aliasing goodness of that game. I'm also going to be modding the crap out of it once I finish the single play. Or I'll probably have two files, one for modding, one for the actual storyline. Hopefully modding it is simpler than GTA 4, because I can mod GTA 4 fairly easily if I look up some tutorials, but I should be fine either way. It doesn't take me long to work that sort of thing out. So yeah, that, that's another thing I'm really excited about, is just modding on GTA 5 PC. It's going to be great. Uh, also, another thing I'm going to be covering is some multiplayer gameplay. So, I'm obviously not going to just play single player. Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer sort of did suck, but from what I hear and what I've seen, Grand Theft Auto 5 multiplayer looks like it's pretty awesome. So, I'm definitely going to be playing a crap ton of that when I'm not doing my game mods. So, it's going to be really good experience on PC, hopefully. There's been a lot of hype towards a PC version. I've waited 500 and something days, so it's quite ridiculous how long I've had to wait for this. It's just the most excitement I've had to get a game in a very, very long time. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, that's really all I can say at the moment. Uh, I just thought I'd prepare you and let you know, because I don't really cover too much G GTA content usually, but I reckon with this release of GTA 5 on the PC, it's the most excited I've been for a game in a very long time, as I said before, and I'm going to try and make the best content as I can, depending on how much time I've got, but I should be able to definitely get some good content out there, so don't worry about that, guys. I'll definitely try my hardest and make some interesting content for you guys, tutorials on maybe how to mod stuff, uh, how to get your system running GTA 5 perfectly, what I recommend for specs. Uh, just another thing I might add, uh, you should be fine running this game as long as you've got a quad-core processor, I think you should be fine, and a semi-modern graphics card, you shouldn't have any troubles. So yeah, enjoy the PC version. If you've got a console version, I would probably, even if I haven't played it, recommend getting the PC version anyway, just because of the extra graphics and extra features it gives you, like first-person mode. But if you've got a PS4 version, maybe it's not as enticing to get the PC version. But then again, I am i don't really have a PS4 available to me, so the PC is my only option. And would have been my only option anyway, because I, I wouldn't get it for the PS4, just because I like playing games on my PC. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this sort of update channel video, and you might have learned something about the PC mode. So yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to have a nice day, and see you later.